Hi there, Noah with the Marketing and Training Department here. This is going to be the first in our Optimizing Sales video series. Now before we dive in, I want to encourage you to like this video and click on the little banner up there to subscribe to the DRS YouTube channel so you're always up to date with any new updates and information that comes out. Now as I mentioned, this is the first in our Optimizing Sales video series. In this series, we're going to look at the ways that we can tweak our DRS folder to really make more money, to do things like increase our average ticket size, to really get the most out of the DRS system. So today we're going to be talking about high demand pricing. And high demand pricing is super simple. It basically just makes the system charge more after a certain number of orders have been placed on a given day. So let's take a look at high demand pricing under Admin, Rules, Price Rule Sets. Now the only price rule set that we shouldn't apply high demand pricing to ever is a sales schedule profile. So sales only, I'm not going to put it in, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in all of my other price rule sets because I want the system to automatically charge a little bit more on busy days. So I'm going to go ahead and click into each price rule set. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to click into the drop down menu and add high demand pricing. And I'm going to tell the system how much I want to upcharge. And I'm going to say, once I have, say, let's say six jobs on a given day, I'm going to charge 10% more. Now, just like any of these fields, if you put a percent symbol in there, that's going to charge an additional percentage. And if you put just a number in there, it's going to charge that many more dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and submit my changes here. And I'm going to do the same for all of my other price rule sets. Okay, great. So again, I'm not going to do that with the sales only price rule sets. Again, a sales only price rule set needs to be empty in order to function properly. So we are good to go here. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to click into the dispatch screen. So I'm going to go ahead and start to place an order and I'm going to use the shopping cart interface because we'll see our prices earlier in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and add the 11 yard dumpster to my cart. And we can see that it is displaying for $295. So let's go ahead and go with the 18th and through the 19th. And again, we'll see that it's $295. But then if we change the date to the 15th, then we should see that it increases the prices, which it did. So $29.50 plus $295 is $324.50. So this is working correctly. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And next week we will have part two, which will be about suggested add-ons and upselling. As always, the tech support department is always happy to help. And you can reach them at 505-435-9731, extension 102, or support at eventrentalsystems.com. So if you have any questions about this or anything else related to the system, please don't hesitate to reach out. So once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.